Today, I'm super excited to be opening a Twilight Masquerade Pokemon Booster Box, 36 packs inside. You can order it from the Pokemon website, center website, for $161 for the retail price, but I picked mine off Amazon for like $114, and you can get it for like $104 if you do so look around, and I think it is totally worth it because there's some awesome cards in this set, and we're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to get right into it. There are a few cards that I am kind of specifically hunting, and that is with the tile Infernape and a Greninja. I would really like to see both of those cards. We're going to go through some of them kind of quickly because we already kind of briefly looked through them at the uh, ETB opening. If you guys didn't see that, definitely check it out. It was some pretty solid pulls, to be honest, but nothing super exciting. That's why I'm opening this box in hopes to find something crazy, possibly in this pack. Like to see it. Oh, nice. It is, in fact, the Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. Let's go. That's actually the Ogre Pond that I would have preferred out of any of them, just from the competitive standpoint. I love this card. Here's a closer look at the card. It is just gorgeous. Hey, I'll take that. That makes this entire box worth it, in my opinion, to be honest. Here's a code for you. That's hype. Let's go. Let's continue on. Oh, my gosh. What a great start. That is... Probably one of the top cards that I would definitely like to see. Okay, we gotta get some more luck in this one then. Really like to see that Greninja. Of course, everyone loves Greninja. Who doesn't? I mean, Greninja is an awesome Pokemon, and I am. I really want that card at some point, regardless. Want it graded. Would obviously hope for a PSA 10, but if I pulled it, that's even better because I love pulling. I mean, come on. Pulling your own cards is way more fun than just collecting normally. Iron leaves. Dang it. Okay, that one got me kind of hyped for a second. Oh, man. Okay, and then, then Fernape, yeah, Generation 4, special place in my heart for sure. That's probably my favorite. Diamond and Pearl grew up on it, and plus, I have to say, Infernape was my starter every single time. But, I mean, who doesn't love Chimchar? Chimchar's such a sick Pokemon. <laughs> oh, this pack feels heavy. This pack does feel heavy. God pack, maybe? Oh, dang. Okay. Don't know, don't know if those actually exist. Have an experience for myself. <laughs> Give me one so I know for sure. I can confirm. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a dud pack as well. Uh, Trainer-wise, uh, there's a lot of really cool ones, honestly, in this one. This set overall, I have to say, pretty Ooh. awesome. Blissey EX as our next pull. This card actually looks really, really good with all those sparkles on it. Blissey's a pretty fun Pokemon, I guess. We'll take that one. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And I definitely think you guys should probably try and pick up these cards now. I do think in the future they may become more popular. Pokemon's been killing it lately with a lot of sets in my opinion. And I'm still looking, I am normally, I say this every time, normally a Latios and Latios collector. Uh, those are my two favorite Pokemon growing up. And I definitely just, I want them to make more of those cards. And especially like EX form, super rare card. I mean, come on, they have some of the most, oh my gosh, we got another Teal Mask Ogre Pond infamous cards though. <laughs> so is Ogre Pond Teal Mask, that is sick. Okay. Hitting it pretty solidly. We'll, we're gonna take this box with with a smile on our face so far. Honestly, for like $114, because $160, 36 packs. That's like four and a half dollars a pack. So starting to get a little bit up there. And oh my gosh, we keep finding a Fezendipity every single time. Seeing that holographic card quite a lot. Now we're just taking from the right side. We're just mixing it up. I just, I just want to go through this, get some awesome, incredible cards into the collection. I really do like the commons though. And Palafin EX, that is a card we pulled in our ETB, but I guess we can take dupes of it. I guess we can perhaps use it one day in a deck. Why not? Do you guys ever play the card game? I like to play it online, not the online version anymore. Back in the day, it was a little bit different. And that was really fun. That's how I kind of started off learning before that. I was always collecting as a kid, of course. Who doesn't love collecting Pokemon cards as a kid? 
It's the dream to have the best collection among all your friends. <laughs> Except, got quite competitive for some cards sometimes, but we had no idea what we had. We also loved Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the time. Oh, is that Ducklet Ting Lu? Oh my gosh. Give us some EX cards. This pack also feels heavy. These packs in general feel pretty heavy. It's actually quite impressive. Maybe that's some good luck for this one. Apom, aw, I do love that arc work. Same with that Darumaka, that's pretty cool. Grookey, that Corefish though, clearly kind of lame. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. We got the Whelping Mask Ogre Pond EX. Dang, we're getting pretty lucky pulling these Ogre Ponds. That's pretty cool, might have to start a little Ogre Pond collection now. This entices me to keep getting more cards. Good job, Pokemon. <laughs> It's working on me. Dang, Ogre Pond is a really fun one. And for a DLC, I gotta say, I think they delivered maybe a little bit too strong in the competitive scene. <laughs> we got Seeking, Sunkern, Abra. Oh, I love that Abra artwork. Snorunt, Polyrath, Hassle. Oh, man. Okay. So we got a pink card. Legacy Energy. Dang, that looks fantastic in the light. Colors and patterns all around the card. That is pretty sick. Okay, we got, oh my god, why am I touching it? Oh, and then we got the Sunflora! Oh, special illustration, that card is gorgeous. Oh, that is a fun one. I did see PokeRev pull that one, so I was kind of jealous. That one, that kind of made me realize it's kind of a cool card. I honestly wasn't expecting to pull it, but we'll take it. All right, and then we got a Sinistra. <laughs> Thinking of like the end of like Deadpool and Ferris Bueller's <laughs> day off. Oh man. Okay. Uh, how did everyone enjoy the accolade? Did anyone watch it and is now watching a Pokemon video? Fan of Star Wars and ooh, walking away. Oh man. We got the car mine. Uh, special illustration. Man, that is. Sit. Is that fuller? I don't even remember. That is tight. The okay, we were getting massive pulls into this box. This is worth it, in my opinion. I'm happy with it. We still got a lot of packs left. Oh my gosh. Let's continue on. Kaimeko. Chimcha. Aw. Give us the Infernape. Infernape is literally a $5 card, and I'm literally hunting for it. Fiona Chandelure. Okay, this pack, not as good. But definitely let me know if you use that code. No one ever lets me know. <laughs> so, again, on my channel, if you do play, there might be a whole bunch of available codes. Unsure on that, and I don't know if anyone can confirm. Lampet. Okay, Ninetales, Probopass, Love Ball, Scolipede, Shink, Sandshrew, Monkey Dory, and a Fire Energy. Okay, we got a big pile on the right side now. I gotta finish that left side. Hold on. Uh, after this pack, we'll continue that side because that's kind of bothering me now. Snore, that is such a good artwork. That is really cool. Lair on, that one's okay. Still love the Chimchar. Of course, Grookey, Polyrath, Chandelure again. Oh man, we're gonna have a ghost stack at the end of this. We got two packs on the left side. The Blood Moon uh, would also be really, really sick. Farfetch, Kadabra, Halucha, Clefable, Cook. Palafin, Tangela, Palafin, Heatran. I do, I still love that Heatran artwork. I saw this one in the ETB opening, and I think that's a super, super sick one. I'm a big fan of Heatran. Would love to see more love to all of those uh, Generation Legend, Generation 4 Legendaries, for sure. They need more appreciation. Trevenant, the glory days in competitive. Leech Seed, Protect Stall, Iconic. Tat oh, I would also like to see the uh, special illustration for Tatsugiri Alakazam. Uh, that one is really, really sick. It looks like a whole bunch of little sushis. So I definitely want to get that one. Uh, eventually, if I don't end up pulling that one, I would probably uh, get a PSA 10 one eventually. Hopefully in some trades or something like that. Mightyana Iron Bundle, Mightyana Lampent, Okie Dokie. Ugh. Okay, I'm not feeling the love anymore from these packs. We, I feel like I feel like we opened so many so far. This feels like good luck. Fion. Maybe that's because I did a little bit from... Okay, so we're over halfway done then. At this point, Greninja EX. No, the Greninja we're looking for. That is still a sick pull. Okay, I see you, Pokemon. You're teasing me. 
I like it. Oh, can we get two Greninjas in this box? Please. That would be uh, quite ideal. That Greninja card is going for a lot. More than a box on the Pokemon Center website. So, like, I think over $160, which quite impressive for just coming out, I must say. But uh, Greninja is so beloved. Oh, man. But rightfully so. Greninja is such a sick Pokemon. I know I think I already said that, but come on, has to be restated. Even the Ash version is actually pretty sick in my opinion. And that's pushing it though, I think Pokemon. I'm okay doing it for the show, whatnot. <laughs> Rillaboom, Rillaboom, oh nice. Okay, special illustration, Alaron, but this artwork, look at that. He looks so cute carrying that garbage. Oh my gosh, I love that one. We'll take, we got another hologram, er, yeah, just holographic teal mask ogre pond. So, uh, okay, we'll add that one. We got two of them so far. Again, starting a huge ogre pond collection out of nowhere. Love this set. This set's sick. Okay, I'm down with it. I am. I'm messing with it. Okay, we got Jinx, Floet, Sunkern, Abra, Hassel, Polyrath, Scolipede, Brute, Halucha, oh, Monkey Dory again, dude. Ah, uh, hoping a little bit better luck now. Give us the goods. At least Infernape. At least Infernape. Infernape would make my day. Love that card. Love that Pokemon. Okay. Screamtail EX. I mean, that is a, that's some pretty gorgeous artwork right there. And it looks good. Literally looks like. She be singing into the heavens right there. <laughs> That's a sick card. Okay. Can't be mad. Can't be mad. And there's a code for you if you decide to use it. This pack feels light now. There's nothing in this pack. I'm telling you now. This is just a filler pack. But that's okay. Skarmory, Applin, Snoron, Laron, Bug Catching, Set, Ambipom, Agron, Snorlax, Kadabra, Heatrin. Wow, okay, we got two of the holographic key trends. That's pretty sick, though. We're getting pretty lucky. I say, like, all the cards we're getting actually solid. So, can't, like, be hating at all. Okay. I definitely want to do more Pokemon Unbox. Actually, yeah, this is my first one. Isn't that crazy? Of my act of the actual booster boxes, Frostless. Oh, man. I thought I actually did some, but I guess I haven't filmed any yet, so I'm excited to do more in the future, so definitely stick around if you want to see more, because I love opening Pokemon cards. Hunting for the cards I like is my favorite, but still really waiting on the Latios, Latios, crazy cards to come out. <gasps> Luxray EX. Okay. Luxray, I am definitely a fan. I picked up a Shinx and Starly on the first route every single time in Diamond and Pearl. They are always members of the party every single time i mean how can you hate them oh my god star raptor was so much fun back in the day too close combat and stuff <laughs> aerial ace classic 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 i really hope oh they did do remakes but maybe when they make like the 3d version caretaker timber infernape wrong infernape no we need to see the really really crazy special illustration art everything on it let's see those flames venipede aeron sandshrew champ pink card pink card pink card hyper aroma okay i mean again we can't complain we can't complain the patterns on this look so good and there's not a lot of text on this one so it really really sticks out you know what's funny i can only see it on camera in real life it's just like a solid okay from now this angle i can see it but like at one point it just looks solid pink that looks so sick too and all the blue on the side oh man and the wording that's pretty cool all right, all right we're getting we're getting lucky we're getting lucky this is a good pack. Shout out Amazon, whoever sold it on Amazon. Really good price as well as uh, just appearing in literally one day. All it took was one day. I literally ordered this yesterday, right before I was uh, finishing up the autograph haul video. <laughs> really boom, Goldrian walking awake, basic energy. I felt like I had to do at least one opening. Had to try to pull one of the cards that we so desperately want in the collection. And uh, we got a few packs left to still hit it. Tangela, 
Clefairy, Shanks, Poltergeist, Diplin, Kit something, Sandshrew, uh, Poochiana, Alakazam, Alakazam. Are you kidding me? D uh, reverse Hollow and Hollow, back to back. Ugh. Love to see it sometimes, but now is not the time. We got two packs left. Come on, Greninja. This pack was weird. Maybe that means some good luck. Alright, Tad Bull, but I took it out of frame now, so either way, it kind of seems sus. So now I'm hoping there's nothing crazy in this one. Zapdos, that Zapdos artwork. Oh my gosh. That's so good. I kind of want to keep that one aside. That is sick. Love Zapdos and all of the legendary birds and Lugia. Probably one of my favorite legendaries after Latios and Latios. Come on, give us some good luck on this last pack. We got Varum, Wattrell, Volbeat, Goldeen, Lucian, Darmanitan, Leafeon, Festival Yay. Grounds, and okay, Probo Pass. Another card that I saw Pokey Red Bull. I feel like we're getting the same exact box. <laughs> Enamorous and a basic fire energy and just a code for you. Wow, that was our box. Not too bad, but let's take a look at everything we got. Well, well, well. Here is a look at everything that we got from our first Twilight Masquerade booster box opening. I'd say it went pretty well. To kind of start off with things, we got a big old stack of commons. I mean, that is a lot for sure. I mean, <laughs> let's put that in perspective. Stack outweighs everything by a ton. Then right next to that, we got a whole bunch of really nice energies just for the collection. Why not? Then the reverse hollows with a few extra hollows. And then I did pull aside a few of them. Zapdos and two of the Teal Mask Ogre Pond ones. I can't believe we hit those. That's pretty good luck. But those are just some of my favorite ones that we did end up pulling. And then EX-wise, Luxray EX, Blissey EX, Greninja EX, Palafin EX, and then two Ogre Pond EXs with the Teal Mask and Wellspring Mask. That is so sick. That's pretty awesome luck. Then special illustration wise, we ended up getting Probo Pass and Laron. Two really, really unique artworks that I just really love, especially that Laron one. Got a little love for that. This Sunflora card, actually really stunning, really beautiful. And then our big hitter Pokemon was the Screamtail EX. Screamtail EX is very, very stunning as well. We also end up getting the Carmine trailer, or <laughs> trainer, not trailer. Really awesome pull as well, as well as two pink cards with the light energy and hyper aroma that's everything that's that was a good box that's one of the more successful boxes i think i've done so far but definitely stay tuned if you guys like this let me know because i can definitely open another box i still didn't hit either of the mons that i really wanted infernape and greninja and I definitely want to add those two Pokemon cards into the collection at some point. Maybe it will be with an opening. Who knows? Definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this. But until next time, have a fantastic rest of your day, homies. Bye.